So I took a gamble and decided to take my mom on a Virgin Voyages cruise, and this is her review. Hey everybody, it's Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And this past weekend was a long weekend, so I got to go over to Virgin Voyages to enjoy one of their five-night Dominican Days cruises on the Scarlet Lady. And interestingly enough, when mom decided to go on this cruise, I didn't really tell her what cruise line it was with. I kind of was hiding that because I didn't know what her reaction was going to be. She's watched the channel, she's seen the video, so she knows who Virgin Voyages is and that they are a different experience. So with that, um, she said, sure, I'll go, on, I'll go on the cruise. And then I very cautiously said, so that's on Virgin Voyages. Um, and she was, you know what, she was game for it. She did not put up a fight, she didn't bat any eyes. Um, she knew that if I was there, she was gonna have a great time, which is kind of sweet. Um, so we went on this five night virgin cruise and I wanted to share with you what her feedback was being a more, I'm gonna say senior adult on Virgin Voyages. So the first question I asked mom about her experience on Virgin Voyages is, did you feel like you fit in? Did you feel like it was the right cruise ship for you? And her response to this was, I think, really interesting to me. So the initial answer was no. When she first got there, she did not feel comfortable. She walks into you know, their roundabout that's got a DJ playing. She's seeing people that are much younger than her. Um, and it's a high energy atmosphere that's there. But from somebody who's a little bit more senior, that can be a real turnoff. And so mom did not feel comfortable when she first walked in. One of the good things that I'll say that I believe started changing that, where she did feel at the end of it, she felt comfortable being there, was that we got to meet a lot of really great people on Virgin Voyages. So it is a social group. People are very easy to talk. I think that's normal in the cruise line industry, but particularly I'm gonna call out Mitchie as well as Chris the foodie, who did a great job of just taking mom under her wings. They were super amazing and really turned that experience around. The next thing that we talked about and that I was really interested in was the food on Virgin Voyages to mom's liking. So to me, the food on Virgin, Virgin Voyages is fantastic. I think it's some of the best food you're gonna find on the high seas these days from the cruise lines I've been on, of course. Um, but mom was not wowed by it. So her favorite restaurant was The Wake. She liked her steak and potatoes. She felt like that was a atmosphere as well. You're gonna probably hear me mention that word a lot, that she felt more comfortable in. It was a more sophisticated environment. It was not as casual as some of the other places and people just had a different decor when they're eating in the wake and the food there she really enjoyed. She also, and this is an interesting one to me, her second favorite, which could arguably be her first favorite, um, was Razzle Dazzle, the vegetarian and vegan forward restaurant on the ship. Now, even though it's vegetarian and vegan forward, you can still customize this to make it where it's not vegetarian, it's not vegan. If you wanna add meats into it, they've got a secret menu there as well that you can add on to. You can order that and me and her both were blown away by the bacon at the vegetarian restaurant. The bacon there is like this spicy maple thing that it was just, it was wonderful. We had it for brunch. They had a stellar brunch, by the way, as well as we had it for dinner one night. And if mom goes back on Virgin Voyages, it will be because of this bacon. I think that she would gladly go back just for the bacon. The Test Kitchen was another restaurant that we went to, and that one I think is her least favorite restaurant that is out there. She did not care for very many of those dishes whatsoever. And they are, they're different. By design, they are different. It was fun on this one because we were actually seated beside of another um, older couple that was there as well, probably just a wee little bit younger than mom, and they were very vocal on, they did not care for any of the dishes that they were served. I think they left there and went and picked up some pizza afterwards. But the test kitchen, I think, is a prime example of what an older individual needs to expect when they go on Virgin Voyages. They are trying to create a different experience. Virgin Voyages came into the cruise line industry trying to be different. That is gonna flow through not only in their ship design, in their shows, it's gonna flow through in their food. So their food is trying to give you an experience you've not had before. And if you are more senior, this could be for those of us that are younger too, and you're set in your food ways, or you're a picky eater, or you want things a certain way, like in my mom's case, she just kind of wanted steak and potatoes most nights. Um, that might not go well on Virgin Voyages and it's not gonna have the food wowing you like it does me where I really value those experiences. The food hole concepts, similar to me on this one, didn't work for mom either. On my other video that I made comparing Virgin Voyages to Royal Caribbean, I said how I missed the windjammer at lunch. I think mom also missed the buffet and there's a few reasons for that. Number one, she didn't wanna have a salad for lunch either. Um, she's not gonna eat sushi. I think people of a certain age just, 
they didn't have sushi. That's not a thing for them. She didn't know what ramen was. Um, so she knows what ramen was, but it is the microwavable version of ramen. And that just didn't really appeal to her. She was like me. We wound up having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. One day she even tried to order a hot dog from the galley and couldn't even get that for lunch on a sea day. Breakfast, on the other hand, I think this one was her favorite of all of them mainly because it was hand delivered by yours truly every morning. I would go up to the galley, I'd grab her her bagel, cream cheese, get two cream cheeses by the way, they're super small, have it toasted, bring her coffee back to the room, which was exactly what she'd have when she was at home. So she really enjoyed that and being able to just lounge around in the room, maybe sit out on the balcony. That was a perfect experience for her and she really enjoyed a normal traditional breakfast in the room. Now let's talk about entertainment. That is something else that Virgin Voyages tries to be very different on. Her favorite place to get entertainment was at the Roundabout. So this is a place where you could sit and listen to various performers sing or put on productions. One of our favorite was um, an acoustic guitarist. And so he wouldn't play the guitar like this, but he flipped it and he would play it like this, I guess. Um, I don't even know what that style of guitar music is called. But he was really good and he talked to the audience, he engaged the audience, and we really enjoyed that. We also enjoyed hearing Mitchy sing Cabaret from the main stage, fantastic voice. The other one that was there um, that mom didn't really care for was jazz. But this is why I'm reminded that there's a variety. So if you're sitting at the roundabout, they've got three or four different artists that are gonna come through there giving you something that you may gravitate towards. The other thing that I'll call out is the ship show. So I intentionally took mom to this thinking that, yeah, this is a real winner because the music and the band there plays a lot of music from the 60s and the 70s. So much so that mom even leaned in at one point. She was like, did you bring me here for the music? Um, I was like, yeah. I was like, that was by design. She's like, yeah, because they're playing everything from like my era. Uh, which I just thought was funny that she called me out on my game. But she did enjoy the music, the band that they have at the ship show is really, really stellar. However, it's also mixed in as a variety show. And so we had a sword swallower, somebody who's balancing all sorts of crazy number of glasses. You had a person that was balancing and doing a lot of acrobatics and a really interesting skate show where two people skated on a circular wooden object of some kind um, together. And so that really wasn't her speed either. I think that, you know, those are just things that are kind of like, eh, they didn't do anything for her. They're interesting to watch, but they didn't do anything for her. She liked the skaters the best. That was her favorite one if she has to remember anything, but it's not really her thing. Dual Reality was a similar concept. That is another show that they have there where it's a lot of, I call it Circus Olay, jumping, acrobatics, gymnastics. Mom didn't really care for that. This is also the place where I heard her say, Royal Caribbean, she missed her singers and dancers. She missed the guest entertainers on Royal Caribbean. And I think that, you know, for her, the entertainment on Virgin Voyages, especially the shows, seemed really lackluster. They just weren't things that she was interested in as a more senior individual. Another thing that I wanted to check in with mom on is the pool experience. Now, mom loves a good pool. She is a sunbather through and through, has been her entire life. But the pool was a madhouse. She, I think her phrase that she said was it was the hardest thing that she had to deal with because the pool was just overrun with people. She would not even get close to it. There's a DJ playing. And so that also created another issue where mom didn't want to be near the DJ because in that pool area, even on the second floor, it's extremely noisy um, with the music that it's also music she doesn't really care for. This is an interesting one and I've seen this in my comments a few times. And so I asked mom about the noise because I feel like some people feel like when you walk onto Virgin Voyages, it's just a party, loud noise scene everywhere. And that's actually not the case. And I confirmed that with mom. I was like, hey, you know, how is the noise here? She admitted that, yeah, it's high energy. It's a little bit louder, but it's not loud. It is like the live music is normal live music. It's gonna have a little bit of volume to it. The only place where noise was really an issue was when we were out by the pool and it was turning into that day club experience. That was the place where it was just over the top for mom. And this is a favorite of mine is you know, people watching. I love to people watch and I come by that honestly. My father as well as my mom are huge people watchers. And so I asked her, I was like, how was the people watching on this ship? What did you think of everybody? Um, and number one, her first and favorite place to people watch was the roundabout. The reason for this is not only did you see the people sitting there, but you got to see all the people walking by that hallway as well, especially when they're dressed up in the evenings. I think mom really enjoyed seeing how everybody dressed up. It is a 
higher style of fashion and dress on Virgin Voyages than you're going to find on other cruise lines. The one thing that, you know, mom did say about this is, you know, it was a little bit eye-opening. Um, I feel like she felt it was a little bit more scantily clad. People were dressed a little bit more provocatively, which to me, I'm kind of laughing because being on Royal Caribbean recently, like, it's pretty provocative, pretty relaxed these days as well. And I felt like this was a higher up tier, but I think it just goes to show how different ages view things in different ways. All right, everyone, that is mom's review of Virgin Voyages. Hope you learned a thing or two. If you are a more senior person or looking at taking a more senior person on Virgin Voyages, just some tips and our thoughts on what it was like in our situation. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you on a weekend cruise soon.